What's up, my friends? It's Vengeance here, doing a hero breakdown on this bad lady, Garabeth. So uh, let me just start by saying she is awesome. I do have reservations about her, and I'll go into that, but she's an awesome character. Um, let us look at her special. Charge speed fast, and it is so fast. Uh, no, it gets even better. Um, for mine, she deals 367% damage to an enemy for four hits and increases the caster, so her dodge by 50%, meaning she will dodge 50% of the attacks that are against her for three turns. Uh, and her passive, which it's always active, is deals 305 counterattack damage to the attacker when triggering dodge. So if she dodges, she hits you, uh, and she doesn't take damage. So that's that's pretty broken. Uh, has a 50% chance to restore 10 mana when taking damage. So when she does take damage, she's getting her mana back. Um, let's look at her exclusive weapon before we check out the Awakening. Uh, because you will see what I mean when I say she's even faster. Uh, increases mana gain by 43%. Mine's only level 40. So it's still another 22% on top of that. So 65 Increase mana gain by 65% for Garabeth for two turns when hit by a skill. So any of those characters like Aurelia or someone, a Wanda, that hit for a bunch of hits, uh, that's a bad choice at the office because she's going to dodge some and she's going to get her special. And then you're going to say, well, I'll just uh, dispel her. Well... Okay, you'll dispel her this turn, but she's gonna use her special again next turn, <laughs> like, um, and get all of the the dodge and everything back. Very hard to deal with when she has her exclusive, and you get down to where she's the only one left. You'll, I, I don't know if you've seen this, but in arena, there's there's times where I'll have my whole team, uh, all five guys are still up, and the only person on the other team is a Garabeth, but I don't necessarily have a dispel ready, and I'll say, ah, I'll just throw these attacks her way. And before you know it, I got two two or three guys dead. And it's like, oh, okay, I got to pay attention. I got to dispel her, and I got to hit her with a, a high single target damage percentage character, like a, like an Ahu, or um, like even though it's a different color, like a Fabula or a Jacob, or just someone that has a large base. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, Idritha does. This large attack number where it doesn't say f hits for five or hits for ten turns it's just a single hit a high percentage hit those are the type of characters that you want to use against Garabeth as far as specials because she's only going to be able to counter it once or she's going to take the damage the characters like Aurelia that hit her uh, 13 times she has 13 chances to counter 13 chances to hit you uh, 13 chances to knock you out before you ever had a chance to do anything about it. Um, we'll look at her Awakens real quick. They're not bad either. Uh, Awaken 1 for each ally of the same faction on the team. Increases attack, defense, max HP by 30. She is Royal Guard is the name of their faction. Deploying 4 of them gives you a 25% boost to in, um, defense. 3 is 20%. 2 is 10 uh, so she is going to increase that uh, attack, defense, and HP just by having other allies of her faction on the battlefield with you. Uh, Awaken 2, increase attack, defense, max HP by 10%. Awaken 3, deals 10% extra damage if hero's attack is higher than the enemy. Deals 10% less damage if the hero's defense is higher than the enemy. Uh, Awaken 4, same as Awaken 2, uh, attack defense max HP by 10%, and Awaken 5 is increase attack by 30% for 3 turns when casting a skill again within 3 turns after casting 1. So when you see that you're like, holy, sh she must, you know, she must cast a lot fast. She does. Um, she can only get hit a couple of times with tile damage before she's going off again. So she has that fast charge speed. It's really very fast, especially with the exclusive, um, so she can hit quickly. Uh, the only downside, the only thing that I don't like about Garabeth, and this is me just being picky, 
is um, the chance to dodge. So it's a chance to counter or a chance to restore mana. Um, there's been a lot of situations where you're like, oh gosh, I really need Garabeth to counter right here. And then it doesn't happen. Um, and you're like, man, she's such an awesome character, but she let me down in the clutch. She's a character that'll let you down in the clutch because of the fact that her move is based on chance. So, like, if you've ever heard any of my descriptions for, like, the Alia breakdown, where I say, like, it does what it says it does, and I value that more, uh, this is one of those cases. So I value doing it right now um, and knowing the outcome more than taking chance characters and taking characters that do things over a long period of time because they can be dispelled. But... Um, that's just me being picky. Garabeth is uh, <laughs> arena PvP. She's got to be up there, like um, probably A plus for me. Uh, definitely beatable. Uh, the introduction of Palmyra kind of dropped her viability a little bit, but not everyone has Palmyra. But if you can dispel her and hit her, you can beat her. Um, so one thing I always tell my folks is if you're playing against Garabeth, you have to bring yourself a Dispeller uh, just to give yourself a better chance to to not get countered so much or dodged and countered. So um, yeah, and, and Campaign and Titan, etc. I like her. There's limited, in my opinion, options in red. Uh, I'm not a big fan of most of the red characters. But uh, she is a mainstay and a half to use in a red team, in my opinion, just based off of what they have available. Colette would be one too. That's a, a has to have to deploy kind of character for red. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about Garabeth, just leave me some comments. I'll make sure to respond to them whenever I can. And uh, give me a like and a subscribe, and you won't have to miss out on any of the future videos that I put out. Hope you guys have a good one. Thanks.